Hey everyone, I had a request to cover piecewise functions. So here's a great revision question on it. So a piecewise function is simply a function that has multiple pieces and each of this function is defined by a specific interval. So usually the first part of the question is to sketch the graph. The very first thing that we need to do is to first look at the interval so that we can have a rough idea of where the position of the graph is. So another clue we could look at will be the function itself. Now observe that in the first part, we have x over 2 if x is less than or equal to 0. So this gives us an idea that the graph lies somewhere along the x negative region. And this is also a linear function. So we can easily sketch the graph as a straight line in the negative region of the x axis up to the point where x is equal to 0. Now the next section we are going to sketch is 2 sine x. Now do note that x, be very careful over here, is in radians. So you could do it quickly via a graphing calculator. Or for me, I know that this is at least half a period of a sine graph since pi has a value of 3.142. And this is within the domain of 0 less than x less than equals to 4. So I'll just need to find the value of y when x is equals to 4. And this gives me a value of negative 1.51. Now at this point, let's make it a good habit to indicate some key labels on the graph. So there you have it. This is a quick sketch of the graph. So now for part 2, we need to restrict the domain to the largest value of k so that the inverse of f exists. Now remember for the condition for an inverse function to exist, the function f must be a one-to-one -one function. So let's drop an imaginary vertical line in your mind to denote x is equal to k as a boundary marker and include a horizontal line to check for a one-to-one -one function. Now you need not draw this in your working, it is just an imaginary line in your mind which I'm trying to walk you through it. So we can see that the largest value of k for the function to be 1 to 1 is pi over 2. Now for part 3, some students may not be clear of how to find an inverse of a piecewise function. Now not to worry, the very first thing we need to do is to define the new domain. So this is a big hint given in the question. So fx is now equals to x over 2 for x is less than or equals to 0 and 2 sine x if 0 is less than x is less than or equals to pi over 2. Now just to give you a quick tip, in a multi-part question such as this, the preceding answers will always help you in the following parts. So we can use x is less than or equals to pi over 2 right here. And the next step will be similar to the one where you always do when you find an inverse function. We can let y1 equals to x over 2, make x a subject, and x is equals to 2y1. Now let y2 be equals to 2 sine x. By making x a subject, we have sine inverse y2 over 2. Now to define the inverse of a piecewise function, we need to find the domain of each of these parts. All right. So the domain of 2x is actually the range of the original function x over 2, which is x is less than or equals to 0, as you can see on the graph over here. Now the domain for the sine inverse x over 2, be very careful over here, is the range of the original function, which is from 0 less than x and less than equals to 2. Now remember to include the less than equal sign over here since this is also reflected in the original statement. Make sure that you have answered to the question and actually you have already defined f inverse in similar form. Now let's move on quickly to part 4 which is a very common question that we all must know. In order to solve this, it is the same as solving fx is equals to x. Now the graph of fx is a reflection of the f inverse graph along the line y equals to x. Thus we are able to do this. So x over 2 is equals to x and by solving the value of x is equals to 0. For the condition, x is less than or equals to 0. 
Now, 2 sine x is also equals to x. And when we solve x, probably using a graphing calculator, x is equals to 1.90. And be very careful over here to check whether it is within your domain. Unfortunately, it is not because 1.90 is more than pi over 2. So the only solution to this question will be x is equals to 0. Be very careful in this area. Now for the last part, we are given a function g, which is defined by minus x cubed, and x is more than 0. So we're going to find an expression for the composite function fg. Now at this point, don't just jump into substituting the function g into all the pieces of functions of f, which is x over 2 and 2 sine x. We first need to understand the condition for a composite function to exist. In this case, for fg to exist, the range of g must be a subset of the domain of f. So we can see that the range of g over here is negative infinity to 0. This means that we can only substitute g into x over 2 and not 2 sine x because the range of g does not fit into the domain of f. Be very careful over here. Therefore, fg is equals to negative x cubed over 2. Now, the question did not specifically ask us to define fg in similar form, so it is okay to leave your answer as such. Now, I do hope you have learned something from this revision question on piecewise functions. Do check out on further questions related to H2Math in the playlist over here. If you have any requests for a revision on a particular topic, do leave them down in the comments below so that I can dedicate that video to you. Thank you so much for watching.